So are you someone out there who wants to quit smoking cigarettes and maybe you need some extra push to do so? Well, today I want to share five reasons on why I quit smoking cigarettes. Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Jamie Dottie Garza and it's time to ignite the world. On this video, I want to share about a personal journey of mine and that's quitting cigarette smoking. Now, in the past video, and you could click above here, I tell a little bit background story of how I got addicted to cigarettes about maybe 15 years ago when I was only 18 years old. And in this video, I wanna give you guys five reasons on why I quit smoking cigarettes. Cause it's different reasons for everybody. But I wanna personally share my testimony and my addiction to cigarettes. Now I say I have not bought a pack of cigarettes, a pack of cigarettes since about 2016. So that's about seven years ago. It's a big achievement for me. Reason number one, why I quit smoking cigarettes. Come on now. My health. Health is wealth. You know, I've always been told that you're smoking cancer. Why you but why are you wasting your money? You're just gonna get lung cancer faster. Is it's gonna mess up your health. Yes, but when you're in your twenties and teens, you don't see it that way. But I'm so blessed and grateful that I quit this habit before things could have really gotten intense. I mentioned in a past video that I am affected. Uh, it might be permanently, actually. My lungs, like every time I do get sick and I'm someone who has suffered from, I don't know, not asthma, but like respiratory infections. Now, every time I do get an infection somehow, it always leads to bronchitis. And the culprit, cigarette smoking polluting my lungs with nicotine and harsh tobacco, like cigarettes, hookah, backwoods, blunts, all the above. And one of the reasons why I quit was because I wanted better health. I wanted to sustain. I wanted my kids to have someone as a leader in their life and not have cigarettes slow me down one bit. They deserve it. My family deserves it. You guys deserve it. And if you're out there and you're trying to quit, you know this already. Health is wealth. Do it for your health. Why risk lung cancer? Why, why risk 10 years, 20 years of your life for smoking something that you're simply addicted to? I know easier said than done. You got this. Reason number two the smell. I got tired of smelling like an ashtray. Funny enough, when I was a kid, I actually enjoyed the smell of cigarettes. You know, I grew up in the 90s where I remember you could smoke in restaurants, you could smoke on planes, you could smoke in bowling alleys. It was a normal thing. It, no one questioned it. I remember being in a bowling alley. My grandparents, they bowled, and I was oftentimes with them on Fridays and Saturday night. Everyone just sparking cigarettes. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I actually enjoyed the smell. And I actually enjoyed the smell as I got older. But it wasn't until I started, like, quitting. And on my mission of quitting in about 2015 going to 2016, that I would leave. Because I, when I initially quit, I, I quit cold turkey. But I wasn't buying packs. But I was still, you know, bum cigarettes because, again, I was addicted to alcohol, too. So I had to quit that. And it was a transition for me. So I would quit for a few weeks, a few months. And then, you know, if I'm out with my boys or my homies, hey, let me get it. Let me let me get a drag or let me get let me bum one. And I realized I didn't like that odor. It wasn't resonating with me no more. I didn't like the smell no more. I, I like smelling good. I smell good. You know, I'm, my wife tells me all the time and most of the time I, I'm very big into my hygiene. So I got tired of smelling like cigarette smoke and especially my fingers. Like I, I didn't like the smell of cigarette smoke. And it's just something that was beginning to turn me off. And once it turned me off completely, nowadays I smell a cigarette. I'm like, what is that smell? You know, I can smell a cigarette. <laughs> I, I really dislike the smell. And I'm just so happy my kids don't have to deal with that in a car. My cars don't smell like cigarettes. My garage don't smell like cigarettes. My clothes don't smell like cigarettes. My fingers don't smell like cigarettes. And most importantly, my breath don't smell like cigarettes because 
Cigarette breath smells nasty. I don't care how much you brush your tongue, brush your teeth, use mouthwash. It's not the wave. And plus, I like to keep my teeth as white as possible. I know one day I'll probably get veneers, but it's, I would say nicotine did yellow my teeth a lot, but charges to the game. I just pray I don't have gum disease because of nicotine, but I could probably go back in the last one for health. But yeah, smell. Reason number three, of course, let's save some paper, homie. Let's save some money. Let's save some coins. Buying packs of cigarettes when I was buying them, I think I was paying like five dollars. It was going to like five fifty, which was absurd because I live in Virginia. You know, I was remembering the good era of just paying like three dollars for a pack of Camel Crushes or Menthols. You know, if I wanted to splurge out, you know, pay the four fifty under five for some Newports, and that was the thing. I never, I will say, I never, I never got, I never got too cruddy to get them USA ones. It was like a dollar fifty. You know, never. I had some. I had a few friends back in the day who was down bad. And they had to make it shake and they had to get the USA's, the soft pack of that. <laughs> oh, man. But no, seriously, I realized how much of a waste of money the cigarettes were. You know, pack after pack, $5 here, $5. I think I was smoking like almost a pack a day when I was like at the height of smoking cigarettes. And if I drank, it would go by so faster. And I was a nice smoker too. Like if you need a bum one, I'll, I'll show love. So we add that into the equation. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars a week, maybe even 35. Let's just round it up to 40. 40 times four. It's already 120 dollars down the drain on cigarettes. Right? I'm not even including, you know, any backwoods or any type of blunts. So that's waste of money. You just realize like I was smoking what when I was like 16, 17. So doing that for almost like 15 years, how much money did I lose? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's 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 do the math. Let's do some quick math real quick. Let's do 2007 was 2023 minus 2007. Let's get the analytics right. So it's 16 years. Okay. So I quit about 2016 minus 2007. So nine years. All right. So nine years. So if we know for a fact that, you know, maybe paying $40 a week, all right, four times a month, 160 times 12 times nine that's already like 1900 times nine seventeen thousand dollars 280 cents was wasted on cigarettes it was wasted on tobacco that was polluting my lungs and not getting me anywhere where i needed to i know i'm getting older but sometimes i just realize like dang why did i waste my money if i could talk to a younger myself and be like save your money you don't waste your money on things that's gonna kill you or, or or be detrimental for your health. Seventeen thousand dollars, jeez. I hope my kids are watching this. Don't smoke cigarettes. Anyone out there? Yeah, that's that should be a the number one reason for everybody right now. Stop wasting your money. Reason number four of why I quit smoking cigarettes is simply I don't like where I'm at in my life right now. I don't like anything having control over me. I don't like things. I don't like being addicted to things. I don't like needing things. And I realized I was becoming in the state. I mean, we're talking to someone who was smoking since, what, 2007. It's almost like a whole decade of being controlled by a vice, by these packs of cigarettes that every time I go get gas, that every time I go out, that every time I needed, I felt like I needed to buy these cigarettes. I felt like I needed to smoke them to sustain my little way of life to sustain my brain, to make me feel at ease, to make me feel good, to make me feel whatever I was trying to chase. I'm at a point right now where I don't like being controlled by substances. I don't like, this is the discipline of me. I don't like being controlled by alcohol. I don't like being controlled by weed. I don't like being controlled by cigarettes. I don't like being controlled by eating meat. I don't like being controlled by what may be on social media. I don't like social media controlling me. I I just got tired. I don't like being addicted to anything, right? If it ain't benefiting me, I don't want to be addicted to it. Right now, I'm addicted to the most high on my faith, being born again, praising God, letting Jesus just guide me and the Holy Spirit guide me. That's what I'm on right now. So that's my testimony. That's my story. 
And at the end of the day, you shouldn't want anything to hold you in bondage, to hold you back, to keep you down. You know, use that energy towards something better that can uplift you. Instead of buying cigarettes, you know what you can use with that? Maybe you can buy more fruit to put in your body to keep you better nourished. Maybe you can invest it into a hobby, like a gym membership, right? Things that are going to better you. So being addicted to anything is not what I'm on. And that was a big reason of why I stay committed and I quit smoking cigarettes. And reason number five is I simply wanted to be the best version of myself. I wanted to be a leader. I wanted to be who I was initially created to be. And that's not someone who smokes cigarettes. That's not someone who may have health issues down the road. That's not someone who's winded. And that's not someone who is jittery. I knew and I found out that in order to be the best version of myself, I had to get rid of this nasty habit, this nasty addiction. And it had to stop. Plus, I wanted to increase my lifespan. You know, every day that goes by is closer to our expiration date. I've seen the commercials. You guys seen the commercials. We've seen the advertisements. We've seen the campaigns. Y'all remember them true commercials in, in the 90s, early 2000s, where the tobacco is wacko. We've all heard the statistics. We've all seen it. Even in school, they were talking about D.A.R.E. And they were talking about how your lungs look and it's just gunk. And I didn't want to go out bad like that. I got children looking up to me each and every day to be a leader for them, to guide them. You know, I'm a husband. I'm a whole husband. I'm a leader in my community. Most importantly, I am a man of God. And this is just one of those things I had to kick, kick. And at the end of the day, cigarettes ain't going to make me the best version I can be. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And if you're out there and you guys are addicted to cigarettes, I'm here to tell you, you can quit. Yes, you're going to have to put the work. Yes, the temptation is going to be there unless you reframe your mind. Yes, it's going to be a long road, but where I'm at right now, like I said, y'all, I haven't bought a pack of cigarettes since 2016 before my son Carter was born in September. Yes, I did fall short a few times being at functions, being at bars, but I allude that I, I take accountability to that, but I wasn't buying full packs. I was bumming here and here, family functions, oh, let me get a drag, and eventually I went completely cold turkey. I'm here to tell you that you can quit too, because sometimes you have to quit in order to be the best version of yourself. Those are my five reasons why I personally quit smoking cigarettes. I hope this video resonates with anyone out there who may be battling this addiction, who want to get over that hump and want to become the best versions of themselves. I'm rooting for you. You got this. Stay blessed by the best and keep igniting the world.